Hello and welcome to Vec P and E. Yeah. We're in the room and we're working on something. Yes, yeah, like always, you might know we've had a problem with the bike, blowing batteries, everything else, you know, how it goes. And I got a new rectifier regulator for the bike. It's a little bit different, it's one off a it's supposed to go on a uh but the higher model than what mine is, so it's an upgraded regulator that I've got. And things are a little bit different on it. Let me show you. There's the one that came off mine. See, it's just square. And there's the new one. Corners are cut off at 45 degrees. You know, it's got the same plug and everything. But under testing, when I test the pins, you know, putting the positive and negative cables, you know, and testing each other bottom pins, because that middle one there doesn't get used anyway. I'm getting a zero on one of them, or one, depending on how your multimeter set up on your diode. And the other two, it's like 5, 20, 5, 28, or 5, 68, something like that. And one, 600 and summit. So, yeah, pretty good show. The regulator's bad. Now, when I test that one, all the pins are working, testing good. The bottom three pins all measuring about the same. But they're running, it's like when I test it, it's like a 350. A 352 and a 351 which they're all pretty close no matter which way around I test it but it's reading a lot lower than what that one is I'm just wondering is it still gonna be okay putting that one on the back or do I have to wait and get another one or does it not matter can they all read about as long as they're reading all about the same is it still good I don't know. I'm kind of wondering this myself. Either that or I made a mistake when I were testing it. So, you know. If I can set this up right. I'm sure you. Nope. That's not going to work. 538. Out of 38 on that one. Five twenty eight. Look at that one. That's reading. I've just switched the terminals around and trying it a different way. Look at the reading I'm getting on that one. Hell of a lot more. <coughs> so the one I weren't getting a reading on is actually reading higher than what I did before. Because I switched the pins around and tried, you know, opposite side of the terminal. Now, let's have a look at the new one. Doing the same thing on the new one. Getting a three seventeen. Three thirty six and 
Number 333. Let's try that first one again. I remember reading higher than that before. I have a feeling I can't get my cable there. Right. There we go. 317. 336. And a 333. Switch my cables around. 323. 36 so yeah I'm guessing this one's gonna be a good rectifier you know brand new just bought it that one junk but looking at it you're thinking well it's a different shape the new one's smaller when you sit them on top of each other even though the plugs are exactly the same if you can see that it's got the corners knocked off whether it's done for more universal I don't know but you know the bolt holes line up perfect and they both got the exact same plugs on them so yeah I ain't got anything to lose you know I've got a dead regulator anyway so change it put it on the bike see if it works it'll either work or it won't but yeah but I tell you what a pain in the ass it were to get that bastard out had to take the toolbox compartment out of the bike the rear exhaust off the bike that comes out of the back of the top cylinder not the one that's right at the very front near your front wheel the one at the back side of it take that exhaust pipe off just to get the cover off to get to where the regulator were but yeah not a problem go underneath the frame undo the bolt which it sits like that on the back so went under the bottom took that bolt out you cannot get to that one at the fucking top had to take the battery tray out and everything just to pull all that plastic out just to get it out of the way just to get to that fucking bolt at the back what a pain in the fucking ass it were but you know I got it out finally fucking bikes in the share shop in bits now so that one's gonna be going in then we'll see how it goes worst case scenario you know I'll have to buy another one and get the exact same one as that but like I say we'll see how it goes anyway catch you all soon everybody that's what Bet and E's doing drinking coffee smoking cigarettes and working on his bike today. See you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.